Hi, it's Joey Remini here, and I'm a vestibular audiologist from seekingbalance.com.au. Today, I'm going to talk with you about vestibular migraine, and this is a very common vestibular condition, actually. We see it an, an awful amount in all of our vestibular clinics around the world, and sometimes we call this a silent migraine, and the reason for that is because it doesn't always have the classic migraine symptoms like, you know, headache or, you know, stabbing pain. So some people will experience headache, but not everybody. So with vestibular migraine, there's usually a spinning, a vertigo, a visual spinning that lasts for longer than 20 minutes. So it's not brief. And there is not always, but sometimes light sensitivity, sound sensitivity. And some people will see visual distortions, such as spots, dots, or colors, or just funny visual effects. So essentially what's happening is people are feeling movement when they know they're not moving and they're seeing spots and dots and sensory distortions that are not matching the reality of what's happening around them. So as you can imagine, this can be quite debilitating and quite scary. So there's a quite a association with anxiety and even depression with this condition if it goes untreated. So vestibular migraine may have genetic components as well as lifestyle triggers. And people will often say their symptoms are worse when they're tired and stressed. It's a very common thing that a lot of people will notice. So in order to recover and heal migraine, I think it's important to recognize that some things we cannot control. So if the migraine is going to come and go, go like a weather pattern, it's more about how do we have resilience and how do we train our body to bounce back from that quickly, effectively and elegantly so we return to normal once the migraine has passed. So in other words, if we're going to have 20 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour of a migraine, how do we make sure that it doesn't ruin our whole day and that it doesn't ruin our whole week? And that's easier said than done, actually. So if you have vestibular migraine and you're learning about it, you'll notice that there, some people do try the medical route, but that is very rarely the long term solution. And it's very rarely a quick fix or a single linear fix. There often will be other lifestyle issues you'll need to address. And there's a physical, mental, emotional and spiritual aspect to each of our recoveries. So we have to really look at what is my body needing? What is my body asking for? And how can I support my body to get those needs met? Because something is re-triggering the migraine and then leading to the vestibular symptoms, the vertigo. Now, many people with this condition will have normal hearing, they'll have normal balance function, so the ears are normal and they're sending healthy signals to the brain. But you can think about it as the brain being in traffic jams or circuits are disconnected. So the information is not traveling effectively within the brain itself. So migraines are happening at that filter level around the midbrain or you know, before information is sent towards the higher centers of the brain. And this information, it's not going to hurt you permanently. It's not permanent damage. However, it's, it's like a traffic jam. So it's inefficient and it can feel very scary and very debilitating at the time. So I would recommend that you look at knowing your body, listening to your body and being very careful that you're not falling into an anxiety pattern or avoidance behaviors, which is um, holding you back from your recovery. Recovery will be via neuroplasticity to make sure that you have healthy balance connections between your ears, your brain, your eyes and your spinal column and also, also healthy emotional supports. And in the long term, if it goes untreated, people often report feeling not quite right permanently or feeling brain fog and lo loss of concentration. So there are plenty of people out there to support you. You can visit vestibular.org and VEDA has loads of resources for you. Uh, I hope you find the supports you need. Keep looking. There will be somebody out there who can get on your wavelength and support you in whatever capacity you need. So it's a bye for now, and I hope you found this useful.